guys, this is Carrie, Watercolor Misfit, and welcome to You Asked For It, where I answer your questions about watercolor art and whatever else you guys want me to answer. On this week's episode, I will be talking about Windsor and Newton paints, and I'm going to be talking about the pan, Cotman pan paints, the Cotman tube paints, and the professional tube paints. I have all three, so I feel like I can basically give you a really good idea of what I see with those three, the pros and the cons, and what really is the difference between all three, which was really confusing for me when I first started in watercolor. So hopefully I can help you guys with some of that confusion and help you decide what kind of paints you actually want to buy for yourself. So stay tuned. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to be talking about in this video are pan paints, specifically the Cotman series pan paints. And I have a half pan set. That's the inside of it. And these I got a while back. And I was really kind of just wanting to experiment with them because I will say off the bat, I am not a pan paint kind of girl with watercolor. I really like tube paints. I have since I was very little. Um, I started out with the Angora pan paints and you've seen that I'm sure in other videos and I'll add a link to my supply guide to kind of give you an idea of my journey through watercolor and what supplies that I used as I was beginning all the way till now. But I started out with that Angora set and I really loved it, but once I was introduced to two paints, I really never went back. I just really like two paints and some people really like pan paints and some people like two paints. I bought this thinking I actually might like the more professional because of course I was using a cheap version. I might like the more professional style and this is still the student grade but it was definitely more of a higher grade than what I was using. I thought I might actually like these but I've painted with it very very little um, as you can tell. I haven't really used a lot of the colors up so I'm going to just put that out there right now. From what I have gathered though, with the pan paints, one thing that is definitely a pro that I would highly recommend if you guys like pans or you've been painting with those cheaper version pans, it will probably be a pretty easy step over to these guys. But one pro that I really, really like is it has a full set already available to you. So when you're first starting out in watercolor, one thing that can be very confusing is actually what colors to buy. Because as you start to paint in watercolor, you realize some colors mix really well together and some colors do not. Well, these pan sets and any really set from Windsor and Newton, I will say, they have thought about it and the colors that they put together, they work well together. They're a basic palette to start with and they pretty much have all the colors that you would need to paint a very basic color palette scheme. So that is one thing that I really do like about the pan sets. Everything is laid out for you and ready for you to start painting with these specific colors. There are two other pros that I want to look at with this set. Number one is compared to all the other pan paint sets that I have tried, these guys are the easiest to use when awakening or refreshing that color with water. They're just easy to put the water in and immediately that paint starts to just come to the surface. So I will say if you're starting out and you really like the pan paint set, this is a great set to start out with. Another pro to these is they last for a very long time. Now I haven't used these a lot, but in the paintings that I did use, and if you go back way, way back on this channel, you will see an oak tree painting. I'll link it for you guys. It's old school and I cringe at it because <laughs> I'm so different in that video compared to what I am now. And I was just very intimidated when I first put that video up. So if you want to see cringeworthy Carrie, you can go check out that video. But I used this set to paint that spooky oak tree. And 
I absolutely love that tree. I still have it and it is still out in my little living room area. And so these paints are really good for long lasting because I used a lot of paint for that tree and I barely touched the surface really with these pans. Now let's talk about the cons to these. One con I would say is if you're having problems with water control, and I have another video for you and I'm going to link it here, but if you are having problems with water control, pan paints can be an issue because when you're awakening or refreshing that color with water, you not only have to think about getting that color ready to paint with with water, but how much water to add to it, how much paint do you want, it's just an added step. Next, let's talk about the Cotman Series Tube Paints. Now, these were the next, pretty much the next step into more of professional paints that I got into, and just the paint quality of these compared to a lot of other student grade paints. And as I keep saying student grade paints, if you are unfamiliar about that, a student grade paint basically means that there's more filler or more glue that's holding this paint together and less actual pigment in it. The pigment is what makes the paint better, but it also makes the paint more expensive. So that is what a student grade paint is. Compared to all the other student grade paints that I have used, for two paints, these are the best. Now, one thing that is a pro for these is they're very inexpensive and sometimes I actually still buy some of these especially when I'm looking into a new color and I'm not sure how well that color is going to mesh with the current palette that I have. I will buy these because they're very inexpensive and I can kind of get an idea if I actually like that color in my palette before I spend the high priced money on the professional paints. Another thing that I really like is they have a wide variety of colors available and they have a wide variety of transparent colors and I'm going to show you the website for that and I'll leave a link below right now but basically it's called permanence and consistency of the paint and what you're looking for is a T next to what basically the consistency or permanence of the paint is and if it's tea, it's transparent. With this, um, the French Ultramarine, this is a transparent paint. And I have a whole video on transparent and opaque, but basically what that means is when I put this on the paper, the paper is going to see through and it's not gonna look chalky or funky or muddy in any way. So that is something that I really enjoyed about this particular student grade paint because they did have a lot of transparent colors that I could paint with and really see the true potential of watercolor through these tubes. Lastly, we're gonna be getting into the professional watercolor Winsor & Newton paints. And these are by far my favorite paints that I have come across. And I would say, uh, it's hard for me to say it, but I actually do these guys are like neck and neck with my watercolor concentrates. And the reason is because if I want a thicker paint color on my paper, I can't achieve that with this compared to necessarily the concentrates. Sometimes it's hard to get that consistency. And like I said, I'm not a really traditional watercolor artist. I like to use mixed media together. I like to use my watercolors as more of an ink consistency. And so the professional tubes really do that well for me. You will notice if you buy one of these, the first thing is just how thick the paint pigment is compared to the cotton and even the cakes when you first um, awaken those or refresh those. The professional um, two paints, what I noticed immediately was just how thick the paint was and then how easy it was to use. These guys don't need a lot of water if you want to make a very thick style of paint. If you don't want a thick style of paint, 
that water just merges in with this paint very easily and waters it down and even though it waters it down it's still very vibrant and it can be more of an ink consistency or one thing that I love about these and you guys have commented on it on my videos is these guys are fantastic for making those light pastel palettes. Whenever I make the pastel palettes with the cotton or the cakes, it tends to just look a little flat. And I really think that's because it's a student grade paint. So when you add water to it, you're not having as much of the pigment in the paint. With these guys, since they're professional, you have more of that pigment in the paint. And so when you're watering it down, you're able to still keep a true color, but yet have a lighter version of it. So that was the main reason why I kind of went towards these because I was really wanting to experiment with pastel palettes. All right, now to the meat of things at the very end of this whole video. What really is the difference between all three of these? It can be very overwhelming, especially looking at these, but the main difference, you guys are going to hate me for this. Um, the main difference is really between do you want the student grade or the professional and I did a little experiment where you can actually see all three colors back to back um, well I should say side to side and they all look almost exactly the same I was actually expecting when I did this to see a, a larger difference of each set but Winsor & Newton, man, they got their game on. They have all three sets. They look almost exactly the same. The only difference that I noticed, and it's hard to show it on paper and on film, is the professional paints are so much easier to use. And they just mold really well in your brush. They mold on the paper really well. That's probably not the right word, but they just mingle really well together with the water it's just so much simpler in my opinion so i hope this video helped you guys out if you liked it please make sure to like subscribe comment and all that other youtube -y stuff that you guys know so well if you would like me to answer another question for this series please make sure to leave a comment below or on my facebook page or my instagram and i will see you next time this has been a long video but a lot of information for you guys Anyway, bye!